to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. God, who lied to you that adding God to your life is a minus? Who lied to you that adding God to your business is a minus? Who lied to you, listen, that adding God to your relationship is a minus? Who deceived you that adding God to your church is a minus? Adding God to your friends and driving out the bad ones is a minus. Oh, I don't want to lose him. You better lose him. If, if adding God to his life is what will make him to go, that's a sign that you have been delivered. Please hear what I'm saying. There are people seated hearing me. You have never given your heart to Jesus Christ. You have never. You've heard preachers speak again and again. Every time they talk, you just sit down outside and say, ah, I was touched. Ah, ah. See how this guy is really talking about God. Now, brothers and sisters, I don't mean to scare you, but let me just tell you one truth that we have not had for a long time. Hellfire is clean. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are people there. Some left this morning. As you were coming for Koinonia, some people left. They are there right now as we speak. Preach whatever you want to preach. But I can tell you one thing. And it's very, very clean. So you can be as arrogant as you want to be. And say I'm an atheist. I went to America and I spent two, two years. I went to Harvard. I, uh, that's all right. You are permitted to carry your foolishness for as long as it will last. But I can tell you one thing: only a fool will say in his heart, "There is no God." Please hear me. Some of us are parents, and I say with all due respect. There are many fathers and there are many mothers. Some listening to me by radio. Your family is most diving because, as the priest of the home, you have refused to bring God. When your wife is praying, you now say, honey, make sure you pray for me. You just enter the blanket. No. No. Let me challenge any young man here planning to marry. If you are not more spiritual than the woman you want to marry, you are in trouble. You better catch up. Join prayer band on Tuesday. Join, have a personal prayer time and double up. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Your spirituality defines everything. I wish above all things that you prosper. Even to the degree that your soul prospers. What shall it profit a man, the Bible says, if you gain the whole world, if you have all the ministries in the world, and at the end of it, lose your soul. Praise the Lord. So there are people seated hearing me. You, you really need to ask yourself this question. Have, have I been saved? Am I born again? I know I came for healing. I came for a miracle. I know I'm 65 years old. I know I'm 12 years old. Are you born again? Have you really brought Jesus to your life? An open invitation to say, Lord, I'm tired of mismanaging my life. My intelligence is failing me woefully. I come to you. I come to you. As a child will run to his father. Right? The prodigal son came to himself and said, Look, how many hired servants has my father? I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son. Take me now as one of your servants. And the Bible says, while he saw him, coming afar off, he ran, embraced him, kissed him, and restored and put back the sin. The evil in the world is too much for any man to be living his life without Christ. That you took beer and drove yourself from Kaduna to Zaria is the mercy of God. You keep trying it. One day you just open your eyes and find out you are not in the world. 
disrespect for God and his values. I'm going to make an altar call now. We need to make it. The atmosphere is right for an altar call. Two altar calls in one. Please pay attention. Two altar calls. Let's carry the lady gently. You are here seated listening to me. Those online, pay attention to Jesus is calling you. The Bible says, come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. It says, take upon me my yoke and learn of me. For I am lowly in heart. Right? It says, my burden is easy. My yoke is light. The one you are carrying is killing you. Two sets of people. One, those who are saying, man of God, as you are speaking, the Holy Spirit is telling me, I need Jesus. Not I need God. Not I need God. God is many things to many people. There is no other name given unto man by which men must be saved. God does not save men. There is a name. Jesus. Jesus. Are we together? This westernization that has made everything called God. There are people God is a donkey. There are people God is a tortoise. There are people God is a small image somewhere looking like something. But we are talking about Jesus, the name that is above all names. When he is lifted, then he will draw all men to himself. The second category of people who are coming out here are those who are saying, Man of God, sincerely, I have responded to an altar call, but I cannot say my life is a reflection of the will of God. I don't care about the house of God. I don't care about the things of God. My children should do anything if they want to do. I do anything I want to do. I watch anything I want to watch. I do anything I want to do. Please, let's save time. I'm going to count one to five. Nobody's closing his eyes. There are people in all the overflow scattered around. As you hear my voice, I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come right in front here and say, man of God, I need you to talk to, 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 to pray for me. One. Run like there's fire on the mountain. If you are too big, please go back. Two. Come and stand and passionately cry before God. Three. Passionately cry before God. Lord, I've come to you from the depth of my heart. I can't keep playing games with you. Keep coming. Are you running? Leave your friend if he's trying to throw you back. There's a spirit in him that will soon be casted out. If your friend holds you back, I assure you there is a spirit. Leave him and run and come. Don't say, I came with my girlfriend. I came with my boyfriend. Run to Jesus with all your heart. Keep clapping, please. Motivate them as they're coming. Man of God, it's as if you've been talking to me. Yes, you are right. You are the one I've been talking to. And Jesus is calling you. Rush to him. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I, I can't keep fighting this for long. I got admission into APU and I became something else. I, I became a graduate and I became something else. I'm not ashamed. I'm coming to you. It is like an award ceremony. You are not closing your eyes. Please run to Jesus. The Lord is still telling me there are people. In the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Come and stand before him. And shame the devil over your destiny. Shame the devil over your destiny. Listen. Many of us standing here are young people. One day you are going to be a father. One day you are going to be a mother. The father and the mother you hate right now. That made you got into your lifestyle. They had an opportunity when they were young. They ignored Jesus but embraced education. So they became graduates without Christ. And they married without Christ. Although the wedding was done in the church. And the disaster is the values of the kingdom. Are not reflected in our family. The average young man seated here. In the next 5 to 10 years he will be married. Your conviction is what you are going to transfer to your home. Every stupid man today was a stupid young man. Correct? He married and just wore suit on that stupidity. And took it. We are sick and tired of a godless society. A society that has no respect for God. 
we, we are pushing God out and saying, look, look, you know, I'm, I'm too fine for all this, this church thing. No. Addiction is the trend. Addiction for God. Outspoken addiction. Listen, I salute you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't come out as if you are going to the graveyard. Nobody's money is a thing of joy. I'm about to lead you to make the greatest decision in your life. There are many of you, years after now, you will be leading others. Ladies, you are standing here for the sake of your children. One day, they will look at you and say, Mommy, thank you for giving your life to Jesus when you were 21. Thank you for not joining this nonsense that is producing tears. There's no magic about a great future. You must run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain. And for those of us who are sitting down, that you are sitting down doesn't mean you should not be here because there are people that are still supposed to be here. But while you are seated, you must say, Lord, make me serious with you. An addiction for you. An addiction for you. An addiction for you. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Yeah. I'm not here to condemn you. No, no. With all the love in my heart, if I had my way, I would hold every one of you. Because you have made a decision that will save a generation. Everyone who rejects Christ has implicated his generation. Because you can only give what you have. Those of you in front, please lift your right hand seriously. Lift it high to the heavens. And say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Don't worry, you can cry, it's alright. Lord Jesus. Don't baby, look at me. Look at me. I love you. There is a boy that disturbs you. Eh? Send that boy a text and say, Joshua Selman asks you to send him a text. He'll never come near you again. Because you love God and God wants to use you. Hmm? You keep loving God and that boy keeps, I don't know who he is. Drive him far from your life. Tell him I said so. In Jesus' name. Huh? So you pray that prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I come to you asking you to forgive me asking you to cleanse me I believe I can be better than I am now so I don't fight you again come into my heart it belongs to you take everything that is mine and make it yours use me for your glory every condemnation every guilt upon my life lives now and forever in Jesus name keep your hands lifted I want to pray for you father look at the ones you died for they have come genuinely and openly to express before your people a commitment to love you and a commitment to live for you. Father, I pray that you honor their sincerity in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit will come upon your life and from today, the appetite you used to have, you will no longer have it forever. I release grace upon you to drive some people from your life and I release grace upon you to invite others into your life. I decree and declare that any association, I don't care how long they have been with you, and don't favor the cause of the kingdom, may today be your party with them forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision. Now, please hold on. I want you to walk. The service is still on. Very quickly and you'll be back. Two instructions, please listen. One, you will follow that lady when I'm done talking, and we're going to have your details. Please make sure you give your accurate details. Your name, and your number and whatever information we need it because it will help us to be able to follow you up number two and please let this be an announcement to the whole house as a general rule every time you are born again the moment you are born again automatically you are a member of the prayer department for one month automatically are we together when you are born again so that for those of us who brought them now if any of your loved ones is among the people you encourage them automatically for the next one month you are a member of the prayer department is a model we have used from the onset of this ministry when people get born again 
the next thing is to give them an opportunity to have a kingdom community once they have a community of like-minded people that love god they will have the strength to be able to shake off the things that are limitations but if you leave them alone sooner or later the pressure will be too much on them and they will go back are we together now so please the prayer department four to six at rema chapel rema chapel is just across for those of you who are not domiciled in zaria no problem when you get your various ministries or places you can always connect with living churches around and then be part of the prayer team at least for a month it will build your spirit you will be filled with the holy spirit and then you begin to walk understand spiritual things and then from there your growth continues the lord bless you in the name of jesus please go ahead and follow the lady please you should create multiple points for them I appreciate them everyone if i told you receive your job you will clap with all your heart keep clapping till they go Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, those coordinating them, coordinate them very fast. There should be multiple systems so that you coordinate them very fast and then they'll be back to come and catch up with the service. There are quite a number of them, so please, if they need some hands, we should have a few people assist them very quickly number two the second reason why people continue a life of hardship and misery second reason quickly number two is ignorance and disobedience to god's principles ignorance and disobedience to god's principles will be very fast please just five minutes let's wrap this up very quickly so that we can begin to pray ignorance and disobedience to god's principles ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 it says the labor of the food weary every one of them because he does not know the road to the city not because there is no road he does not know it ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 ignorance and disobedience to god's principles write one more scripture ephesians chapter 4 verse 18 ephesians chapter 4 verse 18 we may not have time just write them you can go and read them during your personal time with god ignorance and disobedience to god's principles look up please you know that one of the mandates that God has given us as a ministry is to teach men the principles of the kingdom. I am, I am obsessed and passionate about helping believers understand the systems in the kingdom and how to walk through those systems and experience victory in their lives. So ignorance and disobedience is very costly. Number three, please quickly. Number three. The third reason why people go through perpetual hardship hardship in their life is demonic oppression the reality of demonic oppression write it down Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 the reality of demonic oppression demonic forces are real the activity of the dark world is real the Bible did not leave us in confusion as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness first john chapter 5 verse 19 first john chapter 5 verse 19 he says we are of god and the whole world lieth in wickedness the condition to experience the the fierce wickedness in this world is that you are born you know um hold on there is there is a popular adage or cliche that people have all around the moment there is any kind of demonic intrusion they say who did i offend you've heard that statement who did I offend though? I didn't offend it. I left the village peacefully. Look, he said, in iniquity did my mother conceive. You know the meaning of that? I was never given an opportunity to choose whether I want the devil to oppress me or not. The moment you are born, that reality implicates you. At once. Do not ever trivialize the fact 
that the dark world is still at work in our days. At work does not mean in dominion. At work means there is a consistent attempt by the forces of darkness to, if allowed, jeopardize every part of your Christian life and every part of your Christian experience. Finances, family, career, education, spiritual life, every area. Satan will not leave any stone unturned to see that it destroys you. John 10.10 10 says the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that ye may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. Paul himself speaking. He says, once and again I desire to come unto you, but Satan hindered us. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. But Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. That's why God puts a miracle service like this. To come and break down that, that system that he has built over the lives of people. I gave us an admonition earlier on while speaking and I want to repeat it. Never consult mediums, the occult, and so on and so forth for help. No. Never consult mediums, listen, the occult, the dark world, all kinds of extraterrestrial, astral, transcendental activities in an attempt to receive help. Jesus said, I am the door. Every other person who comes came through the window. I am the door. I am the door. When you come in through the door, you are safe. You come in through the window, there are side effects. Two scriptures. Oh, I wish it could be projected, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the whole. Um, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6. To play the harlot after them. I will even set my face against that soul. And I will cut him from off among his people. People who consult what? Familiar spirits. People who consult mediums. Occultic activities. Right? Many of them parading as different things. You go to your village. You enter one room. They say sit down. We want to do something for you. Incisions all around for protection. Say, eat this razor blade. Anybody that touches you, that razor blade will strike you. Demonic activities. They concoct one kind of drink and they tell you, take it. And recite all kinds of things. The Bible says, whoever does that, I personally, I will set my face against it. Ah, but apostle, I've done it already. You are welcome to the miracle service. That's why you will be delivered. That's why you will be set free. From all of that to wives who put their husbands in bottles for correct behavior. To husbands who put their wives all kinds of, of things people have. People have arrows in their ha homes and, and, and weapons that are, are demonic with, with charms. Let's be sincere. Things you hide under your carpet. You are just sitting down. You see strange men enter your house to slaughter all kinds of animals. They wake you in the middle of the night. All that consult mediums. All that consult mediums. Some persons may be listening to me online. Let, let me tell you, when God convicts you, adjust. Some of us are sincere, but our families, especially those of us who are coming from other faiths into the Christian life, or automatically you need to be prayed for. Automatically. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10 and 11. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Quickly please. We we'll trust God for a very quick walk tonight. Thank God by his grace we made the altar call. Deuteronomy 18. 
verse 10 and 11. If you are not there, just listen. There shall not be found among you anyone who maketh his son, parents, listen, or daughter pass through the fire. Or who useth divination. Or an observer of times. Or an enchanter. Or a witch. Or a charmer. Zarya's um, city. Where are we? Or a consulter of mediums. Listen, I'm listening to them. Or a wizard. Or a necromancer. Next verse says, For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Men pass through strange fires. Necromancy. Transcendental meditation. Astral travels. All kinds of extraterrestrial demonic activities. The Bible warns. This is Africa. And I understand. I'm not an American speaking. I've told you my story. Don't think that I was born out of a Bible. My God. There is almost no family here that is innocent. Tra just trace it just one generation after you. Someone worshipped something somewhere. Or they received Christ and was serious. So it's still the same thing. Somebody was involved somewhere. And many people have been victims of those kinds of things. Hallelujah. Demonic powers are real. Their agenda to stop the purposes of God over your life are real. But one thing the Bible says is that the light shines in the darkness. Hallelujah. And it says the darkness cannot comprehend. That's why I know that every force that has held anyone's life today, in the name of the Son of the living God, it must give way. The last reason why do people remain under the yoke, the fierce yoke of oppression? The last reason, they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. The last reason I'll give tonight, they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. Yes, we are social beings, but brothers and sisters, we are also spiritual beings. Every man must be empowered. Jesus himself told them, tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Tarry, tarry. Don't be in a rush. Tarry until you have an evidence that can keep darkness away. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord. 6 verse 10, Ephesians. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the power of his might. Finally, brethren, finally, koinonia, be strong in the Lord, not in yourself. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the power of his might. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day, right? That the burden shall be lifted from off your shoulder. And the yoke shall be taken away from your neck. And the body shall be destroyed because. This is the singular reason why bodies are destroyed. Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Do not reject empowerment. Listen. Empowerment is not for men of God. Are we together? Empowerment is not for those doing church and ministry and evangelism. Empowerment is not for leaders. Empowerment is for every believer. Every believer. The empowerment of the Holy Spirit is your basis for establishment. You cannot live in today's wicked world without empowerment. Apostle Joshua Selman does not guarantee to be there for you every time you need him. But there is an anointing you can receive from the Holy Spirit. Standing in partnership with the Lord will raise a standard against him. I believe in running to men of God to help you and pray for you. But there is no man of God that gives you guarantee of 100% attention. It's impossible. There are times you can call me and I'm sleeping. Why? Because I'm human. But there is a keeper of Israel who neither sleeps nor slumbers. And the Bible says that he's willing. That outpouring of power. Part of the things you must trust God for tonight is an empowerment. An empowerment against fear. 
and empowerment against all kinds of oppressions of darkness. Fear. Right? Perfect love. Cast out fear. For fear hath torment. There are many of us who need empowerment. You are afraid. Just to go from here to Kaduna, you are praying in tongues all through the car. Not praying in tongues of faith. Just fear. You want to nod your head and rest in it to the driver. Just want to say, driver, be careful, oh, please. Fear. Fear makes us suspect everyone. You come to someone's house, they put food and you look at it. I said, no, they, they put spoon here. Why is this person? This person wants to kill me. Fear. You need an empowerment. If you don't say, I, I'm old. Don't be afraid. You are now a man. No, there's no such thing as a man. A man means you have an anointing. Hello? A man means you have what? No matter how old you are, gentlemen, listen to me. If this thing is not of you, you are not yet a man. Because gone are the days where you fight with horses and chariots. Someone stands and speaks. And a wicked arrow lands upon your life with all your energy and physical stature. Makes rubbish and nonsense out of you. The woman who makes incantation, you can beat her physically. But she will call you from Italy to come and die in your village. Men are men who have power. Power with God. Power with God. Power with God. They invoke a charm against you before they finish their death. That's the registration to me that not every word is fake. Come on now. They bring your picture as they, as they show it. The fire they are trying to invoke comes out from the picture and burns the face of every devil to ashes. And you are not praying. It's not like you are praying at home. Maybe you are even cheating. What is working? My head, my head, my, my head shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The anointing is a powerful mystery. It's a mystery till we get to heaven we will understand. The anointing is not falling down and shaking. The anointing is not people moving around. Those are just effects. Boy, the anointing is a force. A force that works. You speak with the anointing, you get results. You speak because you are shouting. You have some truth. See that? You make bold claims without the anointing. They visit you in the night. You make bold claims with the anointing. Whether day or night, you are still in control. How terrible are thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to in the name of Jesus from tonight. Some of you, as you are going back home, you are not even saying anything. As you are going back to your house, it's an announcement to the spiritual climate of your territory. You are saying no more. No more. No more. Nobody passes with all this wicked spirit and then it lands on you. No. I'm not, I'm not a dumping ground. They don't cast a demon from a crusade ground and it's moving through arid regions and just sees me and lands on. Don't think I'm joking. Demons still find men. You come out fine and return back with a fierce spirit on you. And find out that you are suddenly getting angry. You were not like that. You are an angry person. You could never insult your husband. But something comes as if everybody is a human being. No, a stranger has found entrance into your life. Ah, I'm born again. No demon can live in me. Please keep quiet. You are a spirit, you live in a body, connecting your spirit and your body is a soul. Very big space for any amount of demons to stay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Please take it in serious. There are some habits people, you cannot use resolution to stop. Oh man of God, I love God, but I just sit down and once I'm on my laptop, the next thing I'm watching, I can't help you. It's not about trying to help it. There is an anointing that must stand up on your life to help because it's a spirit. Fill me
Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a release of miracles. Make sure you are praying. It's over. I declare it. It's my year of trial. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Goodness. I tell you, strange things are already happening inside and outside. This was the instruction the Lord gave me. That at the point this oil touches the head of everyone, then we begin to speak. Dramatic miracles. Dramatic deliverances. Bring them out. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Everyone online and here by the mystery of this oil any stranger any covenant every wicked spirit manipulating the destiny of anyone I decree and declare right now by the fire of the spirit let there be deliverance right now inside and outside I stand upon this oil. I stand upon this place. I decree and declare anyone under any demonic manipulation. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirits, I command the devils of you go from their lives now. Off you go from their lives now. Bring them out. Lift your hands. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus. My God, I see massive deliverance outside. Massive deliverance outside. Freedom for people and families. At the count of three. That's all I want you to do. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be complete deliverance one two shout it now three Jokes be destroyed Jokes be destroyed every spirit every force every spirit every force every spirit every force Every spirit, lift your hands. The spirits that cause failure, that everything you do, you don't succeed. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command them to leave you now. Leave you now. Leave you now. The spirit of failure, the spirit of failure, the spirit of failure. Lift your hands. My God, I want to pray for students because I'm seeing like a blue flame. There is a spirit 
that which haunts the academics of students. You are a student here, get ready. Liberty comes to you at the count of three. One, two, three. Lift them right now. Lift them right now. They are academics. Oh, they have not been able to pass job. They have not been able to graduate. I command that spirit. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. Lift your hands. I don't know what force of darkness is responsible for bad luck in the lives of men. Simple things that should work out never work out. Now, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, whoever is a victim of that oppression as I speak now let the fire of the Holy Ghost land upon your life right now land upon your life right now land upon your life right now help them please bad luck lift your hands I tell you, there are so many miracles happening. Listen, listen. I want to pray. I want to pray for men and women, inside and outside. Listen to me. Do you know hardship is a cause? Hardship is more than poverty. Poverty is absence of money. Hardship is a hard life. No matter how high you rise, your life becomes hard. Lift your hands. I'm praying for families, not just individuals. So the power of God will come upon you from your family. I'm standing here and the Lord is asking me to face the minister's seat and stretch my hands. Every spirit of hardship, every spirit of hardship, every spirit of hardship, I command freedom. I command freedom. Now I turn to the congregation. At the count of three, shout Jesus and that devil must leave your family. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Help that lady. Go, 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 go. Hardship. 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 I command you. In the name of Jesus. I command you. You must go. I command you. You must go. You are a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. Who is Veronica? Veronica. Veronica. Just leave them. We are praying. All those under the anointing, I set you free now. I command those devils, leave them forever. Leave their families forever. Strangers, go right now. The Bible says they will run when they hear his voice out of their hiding place. Therefore, I command every stranger in anyone's life and destiny. It's time for you to live and never return. Veronica, you are Veronica. Where are your parents? I'm seeing a light. Is your mother here? She's in Saria. She's in Saria. That's what I mean. Right here. Go and tell your family that God is bringing a major breakthrough. I'm seeing crying all over. But I'm prophesying to you that a, a breakthrough, a new chapter opens for the family in the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen. I'm just going to speak to a few people. But before I pray, I want you to check yourself. There are people you will check yourself and the pain is gone. You check yourself and there is a miracle. Run where you are. Don't sit down. The moment you find out there's a miracle, run. Pastor Jimmy will be here. Immediately run. We'll just take a few testimonies and then I'll minister healing very quickly. We have to be faster. Our time is gone. Who are these people? You are all Veronica. Look at me. There's witchcraft in your family. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't let it go right now. Over her and her family, I cause witchcraft. 
completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Is your sister here? Where is she? Sister, are you here? Quickly, please come. Come and hold her hands. I see a fight for the destiny of the people in this family. And God wants to set you free now. I stretch my hands. You are holding your hands. Representing the family. I break every altar. Responsible for hardship and pain in your family. And I declare right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That as my hand comes on both of you. Let there be the beginning of strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God is giving people miracles. Are you giving Jesus praise? Come on, Koinonia. Make sure they confirm you and check you. God is touching people. Touching people. There is a lady. There is a lady you came here since 29th December. You have been pleading non-stop. Check yourself. It just stopped right now. Check yourself. It just stopped right now. Hallelujah. We are going to do two things concurrently. Your prayer request, did you come with them? Or you forgot? Please bring them out. Always come with your prayer request when you come for the miracle service. Now, ushers, quickly, please collect the prayer request. If you are trusting God for a healing miracle, please, now is the time. Quickly, come out here very quickly. Come out here very quickly. Those outside, hold on. Those outside, if you are in the overflow and you are here to come in. If you have come in, it's okay, you can come. But if you are yet to come, those in the overflow, the first overflow, just walk outside. Stand in front, outside at the projector. Those, the overflow at the roadside, just stand right there um, so that we can, we can make it fast. Those inside and those who have entered, come to the front quickly. Trusting God for a healing miracle. Pass your request to the ushers. If there are ushers here or protocol, please collect quickly. And then you can come quickly. Please, HP. Okay, Pastor Jimmy will be outside. He will be outside with um, Shade. Come, stand up. Oh, stand up. This pastor's wife will have to start walking now. Stand up in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, three of you will go outside in the name of Jesus. You will lay hands. Please come. I'll lay my hands on you. Let me lay my hands on them. It's a very good thing to expose them, Father. Please anoint them. As they lay hands on the sick in the name of Jesus. As they lay hands on the sick, let your healing power flow through them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So please, you go outside the chimney. You can lay them, they can go outside here and then in the name of Jesus Christ. As they lay hands on you, please, if they don't ask you anything, don't worry. Just receive by faith. You don't have to start explaining. Our time is gone. Then, right here, Pastor Alpha, Pastor Femi, um, Benga. Okay, promise you can also go. Mike, join them. Um, okay, no, no, no. Let's not do it that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Will be enough. Okay, Mike, you can. Or Pastor Alpha, you can stay. Um, Pastor Femi, Benga, Mike, and promise you can go outside. They'll, they'll, you just position yourself and then you minister to them very quickly. And then, Pastor Fa, you can join me. And then we'll do it in Washington. You will help us. Please collect the request very quickly. Let's be very fast about it in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm praying a prayer now. Everyone, please participate and say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that everyone sick here is declared free right now. And as hands are laid on you, let there be supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. At Calvary. At Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is very Burdens are lifted at Calvary. At Calvary, at Calvary, burdens are lifted at Calvary. Over now, Jesus is now.
Aaron is here. Just, just indicate and then you'll drop it. Please. Don't disorganize the line so that we can hurry up. Because by the time you go back, they will have collected.
Stretch your hands on this request. We are going to pray on them right now. Please stretch your hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, there is a God that answers prayers. If you are outside, don't worry. If you are still on the healing line, it's not for you. But for time's sake, let's stretch our hands in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to declare that every request, please make sure we have all the requests. The request, yes. Every request is turned into a testimony. Go ahead and begin to declare it. This is our year of triumph. In this year of triumph, we decree and declare. We decree and declare. Supernatural miracles. Are you praying? Are you praying? I say it again between now and miracle service February. Return with yes, some testimonies. Every impossible situation represented here as touching your life, your finances, your health, your family. May the God of heaven turn it into a testimony. Anyone who must be cleared on the way for this testimony to come to pass, we clear them from the way. Anyone who must appear for this request to be testimonies, we command them to appear. Anything that must change for this to be called a testimony, we command it to change. In the name of Jesus, Father, we trust you. We have presented this before you. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pick it back as testimonies. In the name of Jesus, you will do this and you will glorify yourself. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands and pray for you now. I pray in the name of Jesus and I put this under your hand. Hard life, the life of hardship. I command it to end now from your life. I command it to end now from your family. I command it to end now from your life. To end from your family. The kind of opportunity you have never seen in the name of Jesus. Some of you, beginning from tomorrow, you will begin to see it. Believe what I'm saying. You will begin to see it in the name of Jesus. I don't know what recurrent event happens in your life. While you think you have escaped it, it happens again. I'm prophesying to you. It comes to an end right now. In this year of triumph, it comes to an end right now. It comes to an end right now. Please stretch your hands towards me. I want to speak favor to your life. In the name of Jesus, the God who by grace has favored this ministry, 
in an unbelievable dimension. I pray, may the favor that God has put upon this ministry, I transfer it strangely to your life. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it right now. It begins to help her, please. My God, receive it right now. I release that favor. Strength favor. Strength favor. Strength favor. Kapakatata. Strength favor. Men helping you. Strength favor. Women helping you. Believe it. Strength favor. Enemies helping you. Critics helping you. Mysteriously. I decree and declare whatever has refused to work in your life you try it is working for others you see it working for others but when it's your turn it does not work I command it to begin to work now I command it to begin to work now ladies I pray for you I don't know what has covered your glory. You are great, you are virtuous, but glory covered. I declare that from this miracle service, an unfailing of your glory, an unfailing of your glory. I want to pray for everybody, but specifically for our brothers. One of the blessings of this year is that God will bless your hands. If you don't believe it, just keep quiet. Don't criticize. Just keep quiet. But for as many who are trusting God, that God will establish you as a man, I prophesy to you, receive that unction. Receive that unction. The unction that establishes men to be able to take care of their homes, to be ready to be a man indeed. Ta, 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 ta. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Lift your hands and see pray. Some of us are victims of foolishness. Therefore, I pray for you. The spirit of wisdom, be baptized with it right now. Be baptized with the spirit of wisdom. I don't know what you have lost, but this is January. God has declared that it's a year of trial. Therefore, I command, between now and next miracle service, receive double restoration. Double restoration. Double restoration. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you for speed. See, let me tell you something. When speed comes into your life, when speed comes into your life, you will be surprised that within a short time, you will catch up and do a lot of things. I prophesy to you, where they have overtaken you, something comes on your life this night. Run like Elijah. Pursue. Kaparete kata. Pursue. Overtake. Recover all without fail. I prophesy. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Two more prophecies, and we are done. I don't know what distracted you from loving God. You were not like that. Your prayer life was a priority. Your word life was a priority, but something feared you off. I pray fresh impartation of hunger for God and the things of God take it now take it now fresh hunger fresh fire fresh hunger prayer fire word fire fasting fire prayer fire word fire fasting fire receive it in the name of Jesus I break the cause of spiritual laziness. Laziness to wake up and pray. Laziness to fast. Laziness to study. I break it from your life in the name of Jesus. 
And I pray for you. Last prayer point. Some of you have been obeying God in the secret. But the result has refused to manifest. According to the word. When you do things in secret. God rewards you openly. Is that not what the Bible says? I want to prophesy to you. I don't know who shut the door. I'm praying oh, And this is for my spirit. I know you have been tightened. But this, we have not seen the evidence. I know my God has helped you. I pray for you. And open testimony. Open proofs. Open results. Receive it right now. Let that fire come on you. Let that fire come on you. Let that fire come on you. Anyone on your job here and you are having cases with your superiors, I'm praying for you now. Beginning from Monday, I change their hearts towards you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.